Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be teaching you guys how to get the nuke gun in Opposer VR. Alright guys, so the first thing you want to do is grab the sledgehammer right here. Or a crowbar. Sledgehammer, crowbar, whichever one. I'm not sure about the swords though, because I haven't really tested them. But what I do know is that a katana does not work. I've tried that. So you want to come down into the basement. You want to grab the flashlight that's on the table. You want to holster it. You want to come down here into the dark, dark abyss. Bring out your flashlight. And you want to make a left. Alright, make a right. Make a right. And you see these planks right here? You want to take your sledgehammer or crowbar and break them. Just like so. You want to find Mr. Trollface over here. And you basically want to maneuver around the painting until you find a little... Until you see the little glowing blue sphere in your hand light up white. That indicates you got the balloon gun or just any gun in general. So there you go. So for the next part of this tutorial, you can basically get rid of everything in your holsters besides that balloon gun. All right. So you basically want to grab a jetpack on full fuel. You don't need the two times fuel game pass for this tutorial. You can have it. It would make your life so much easier, but you don't need to have it. Um, so yeah, there's your balloon gun. There's your jetpack. And you want to get a gun that you can easily control. So like a rifle. Why did I just get a sledgehammer? Like a rifle, a shotgun, whichever one. Whichever one works for you. Um, I'm going to get a rifle. All right, so some people must be like, well, why do we need a rifle? Because sometimes your balloons will actually make you go up instead of supporting you from going down. There's a big difference. So um, basically, you want to be able to have control over that. So basically, whenever you start going up, you want to shoot them with this gun or a gun of whatever choice. So there you go. You need a gun and the balloon gun. So basically, now all you have to do Take your balloon gun and shoot your left or right arm to the point where you're confident enough to say you can jump without falling quick. So, that is not enough. That is perfect. That is the perfect amount. See, it's not bringing me, like, it's not making me fly up, but it's making me jump super high to the point where I can basically walk on air. So now you want to locate a speed coil on the middle island closest to the Among Us sign, and you want to run to the left of the Among Us sign, just like so. Here we go. You want to run, and you want to jump. And once you start falling, you can activate your um, rocket. There you go. You want to basically maneuver your way around these buildings, because they will pop your balloons. Okay. You want to come in between these two buildings right there. I ran out of my speed coil, which is perfectly fine. So, slowly but surely making our way over there. You will need to have this in your hands very often, because you're going to need to have that control. I'm running out of fuel, which is fine, because we're already here. So basically, you just want to land on this building right there. You should see a traffic cone and a crate. Um, so, basically, you just want to land on this building right here. First try, really. So, that was sick. Um, you can basically just pop all your balloons now. You don't really necessarily need them anymore. But, um, okay. okay, I got rid of all my balloons. So, you want to come over to this traffic cone, and you want to wait until your sphere turns light. Newt gun right here in my position you want to get rid of the gun that you use to control your balloons throw that off the edge do whatever you want with it basically spit on it by this point point. and all you want to do is either drop down this abyss or fly back which is a stupid move just drop down the abyss Woo! there you go you have returned with the nuke gun in your possession, mod. So, basically, you only get three shots in this thing, and there's like a two-minute cooldown. And let's aim it right in the center. Bop. 
And you can do whatever the hell you want with this nuke gun now. You can nuke the entire map and cause the entire server to be upset or lag out the entire server because the amount of instances of crates.